Ivy Masters Learning Center and ivymasters.com. And today we're going to look at the 22nd question from the digital SAT. Test one, module one is from a blue book app. And number 22 reads in the XY plane align with the equation 2Y equals C for some constant C intersects a parabola at exactly one point. If the parabola has equation Y equals negative 2X squared plus 9X, what is the value of C? So anytime it has two equations, Typically, you're doing a system of equations. Anytime you see the word intersects, then you also know you should do a system of equations. So what does those, what do those two equations have in common? So 2y equals c, you have y equals negative 2x squared plus 9x. What they have in common is y, so we're gonna have to use the y to do this system of equations. So what I'm gonna do here, this is a simpler equation. I'm gonna divide both sides by two. That cancels. You get y equals c over 2. And in place of y, I'm going to put c over 2. c over 2 equals negative 2x squared plus 9x. Okay. Quadratic should always be set equal to 0. Also, you probably don't want to work with fractions. You probably want to work with whole numbers instead. So my recommendation to you is multiply the whole thing by 2. And then you're going to have c equals negative 4x squared plus 18x. And then what you could do is you could add your 4x squared to both sides and you subtract 18x from both sides. And we get a cancel, we get a cancel, and now it's set equal to zero. 4x squared minus 18x plus c equals zero. So we've got our quadratic. Um, one thing you gotta know is, here's a quadratic formula. It's negative b, it's a negative b, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, whole thing over 2a. Now you don't need this whole thing. What I want you to notice is that the b squared minus 4ac, it's under the root. And you cannot take the square root of a negative. So if b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, then you've got no real solutions. Alright. Gotta get rid of that. Alright. If your b squared minus 4ac. Now notice it says plus or minus. So if it's positive, let's say you had a positive 4 inside that root, you take the square root of 4, you get 2. If you take any number, you add 2 to it and you subtract 2 from it, you're gonna get two different values. So if it's greater than zero, then it's two real solutions. Again with this, okay. And then if your b squared minus 4ac equals zero, then you're going to have one solution. Why is that? Because square root of zero is zero, and if you add zero to something and subtract zero from something, you get the same value. So if it intersects a parabola at exactly one point, that's another way to say one solution. So we gotta look at this. B squared minus 4ac has to equal zero. So what's your b? It's negative 18 squared minus four. What's your a? Four. What's your c? It's c. And it's gotta equal zero. And then, of course, you could get, but make sure you put it in parentheses. And then we square it. And we get 324. So now we've got 324. Let's see. We have 324 minus 16 C equals zero. Then you could add 16c to both sides. Cancel over here. 324 equals 16. That's a c. C. Divide both sides by 16 in order to solve for c. And then c equals again. We're going to use our Desmos to do 324 divided by 16. So we hit enter there. So we've got 324 divided by. 16.
and we got 20.25 and that's exactly what you want to bubble in you have five spots of bubble you bubble in your 20.25 and you are finished thank you for joining us today if you like this video click like you can share it with someone who has difficulty who doesn't know b squared minus 4ac or how many solutions that it means that or how to do a system of equations if you have any question you'd like to answer from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything and check out our one-minute video on TikTok. Have a great day.